Before we wrap up the show today, one of the things we like to do is talk about what we refer to as the whistle widget of the week. This is something we utilize in our business. It saves us time, makes us more money, or just helps us have a little bit more fun. What do you got, Brad? My widget, I think my widgets from here on out are all going to be AI-based. I'm really diving deep right now. Um, Chat GPT is nothing new. It's the thing that really opened most people's eyes to AI. Um, but they have a tool now where you can actually, and I think this might be only in the paid plan, but where you can upload an image and have Chat GPT analyze it. So silly things are, you know, take a picture of a, a plant and say, what plant is this? I'm sure they can do that pretty well. I tried out some, just some stupid stuff. I uploaded the front a photo of the front of a house and say, this is a three bedroom, two bath house in Santee. Write me a listing description from one photo. And it did a good job. They talked about the big front yard where you can entertain and have barbecues, the lush landscaping, which provides plenty of shade in the hot summers. I was like, this is, you know, the big windows. I was like, this is from one photo really quick. Um, you can send it things like charts and graphs and say, hey, break this down for me, explain it to me. Um, and then even things like, uh, I haven't messed around with this too much, but if you want to upload a photo and you're like struggling with, or if you want to utilize something for social media and you're struggling with captions, you can say, hey, this is a photo I'm posting on social media. There's a little bit about it. Make me a caption and it can do that. So uh, the chat GPT, when you go in on your computer, Instead of pressing the send button on the far right of the chat bubble, you just click the photo icon on the far left and you can upload a photo. Beautiful. Yeah, I like it. Cool. The one I got for you, this is one that we all know exists that we probably just don't use frequently enough. But the thing that I found that really hits, we're talking about sphere of influence. The thing that really hits is when you can give somebody a gift that's extremely thoughtful. And one of the best ways to do that is to make it personalized. And there's one place I go every time. Anytime something happens, um, uh, an agent in our office had a baby recently, um, got him like a really cute little baby set that had the baby's name embroidered on everything. And it was like um, a diaper bag and a blankie and, and all these things, right? But like when you give them something that's personalized with their baby's name, like that hits really well. Another agent on our team uh, recently posted that their dog passed away. So we got like a custom stone um, to memorialize their dog that passed away. Like when you do these little custom gifts, they hit different. Like obviously we have gifting services we like for the recurring stuff, but these personalized custom gifts, like they hit so strong. Um, and so the website for that is Etsy. Like I think that we don't use Etsy enough. Like I was, there's I was literally waiting for something really like no, what is it? nothing. Oh, it's, Etsy, we I all know it. it's there, right? I just don't think we use it enough. But the great thing is there's such brilliant creative people in this planet, and a lot of them are on Etsy and making really cool stuff that is super unique. We have some somebody gave us something when we got married that we still have up in our house. It has like our name established 2012, like when we got married. Like I still have that up in my house. I think you guys gave us a little. Uh, it was like a pillow that it's not called embroidery, but it's like stitched into yeah. a pillow. There's a, probably a name for that that I don't know. Um, but it's like had our daughter's name stitched in with her date of birth and her weight. Like we still have that. So those like personal things, those last for a really long time and, and make a significant impact above and beyond just the generic stuff. So think about like you you close a deal with your client. Like if your closing gift to your client is like a fucking Home Depot gift card and like a basket of bullshit like that's worthless like don't even waste your time with that get them something personalized made and like they just bought a house like how about the whistle residence established 2023 like they're gonna keep that for mm -hmm. a long time you don't need to put your name on it by the way like don't do that shit it's tacky yeah um yeah if your logo is on you, it it's not a gift it's, yeah it's tacky uh maybe you could put something on the back like from kyle was whatever if you really need to but like don't put your fucking logo on the front of these signs it's really tacky but that is gonna go up in their house and it's gonna stay there for a long time and they're gonna associate that with you. Your gift does not have to be about you, it's about them and Etsy is the ultimate place for that. So I hope you guys will, Love it. next time you're like, man, what do I do in a moment like this? My you know, dog passed away, I told my assistant, like, find something cool and boom, like, I'm gonna get him this. Thank you. Like, you don't have to think Etsy will do some of that thinking for you so that you can give really thoughtful gifts that make a big impact. I love that. Awesome, guys. Well, hopefully you got a lot of value out of the show today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Well, I'm Kyle Whistle with EXP Realty in San Diego. I'm Brian Kochi. We'll see you next week. Wait, wait. 
Before you leave, I wanna share some more tips and tricks that we're using in our business to take it to that next level. Just click right here. And don't forget to subscribe, click right here.